We present Pivot Slice, an interactive visualization system for exploring faceted datasets, which provides not only efficient faceted browsing capabilities for implicit relations, but also flexible analytical functions to reveal explicit data relationships. The Pivot Slice interface contains the following components a search and operation panel, a history panel, an information panel, a main canvas, and a cell relation panel. Suppose that the user is a graduate student in the data mining group who is interested in visualization and wants to find new research opportunities. After loading the dataset, Pivot Slice presents the entire citation network on the main canvas. Just after the user types data in the search box, a drop-down panel appears containing a list of matched items where the keyword data mining catches his eyes. So the user creates a filter with this keyword, which divides the data in two parts with smooth animation. However, not a lot of papers are filtered. Then he searches visualization and drags a common term, data visualization, onto the existing filter. By hovering over a node, the user can access its attribute details on the information panel. When a group of nodes is selected, a summarization of their metadata is displayed by ranking the categorical attributes with frequency and showing the numerical attribute ranges. The user finds that information visualization, user interface, and visualization technique are the three top general keywords in this domain, so he drags them onto another axis and clears the previous filter about data mining. Similarly, he finds that most of the papers are published at three conferences, including InfoViz, CHI, and WIST. So the user adds them to a data filter and further divides the canvas into a 2x2 two two query table. To clearly see the paper distribution over the conferences, the user changes the node layout by aligning them with the conference facet. Now he is curious about the citation patterns between these conferences, as he wants to submit his work to a well-cited venue. So he splits the filter by double-clicking it and modifies the layout to the matrix-style view for more clarity. By observing the crossing links between cells and the color maps on the cell relation panel, he finds that papers in InfoViz cite a lot of papers from Kai and WIST, but the reverse is not true, especially between InfoViz and WIST. Next, the user wants to narrow down his exploration with more specific popular topics, so he goes back to the original view using the history panel. He then selects all the publications in the three conferences and identifies direct manipulation and dynamic query as the interesting topics to pursue. Thus, the user deletes the original keywords and adds the two new specific ones. To study the publication trends for the selected topics a long time, the user adds a year facet and aligns the nodes using it. He further aggregates the nodes vertically to see trends more clearly and finds that those topics have not been active since 1994 and 1995, which is a bit disappointing. So the user moves his attention to the top right cell, which contains publications in these conferences but without the two selected keywords, to search for other research topics. From the list of top mentioned keywords, he identifies two more interesting keywords, information space and world wide web. He then inserts them next to the existing keyword filter to enable a side-by-side -side comparison. Now the user wants to find the most influential papers in both keyword groups. Hence, he appends the citation count facet and lays out the nodes by it. In the meantime, he minimizes the rows and columns that are less important. After a short time of observation, the user identifies that B. Schneiderman and S. Card are the dominant authors in the selected fields. So he determines to further study their work by adding them separately on another axis, allowing easy comparison of their publications on these keywords. At first glance, the user finds that both authors publish papers in the two fields, but that Schneiderman seems to mainly focus on direct manipulation and dynamic query. In order to get detailed insights, the user starts to build a more specific and complete data set. So he first uses the prune data function to crop all the rest of the network. By placing the two authors on different axes, he finds a famous book co-authored by both of them. Then, with the online live search abilities of Pivot Slice, he fetches the references and citations of several highly cited papers and downloads some interesting papers with the desired keyword into the current network. Moreover, the user keeps both author filters side by side and adds the year facet to the other axis to further compare author's publication trends. He identifies that Schneiderman has more active publishing records than Card in more recent years. 
We have presented Pivot Slice, a faceted exploration system which interactively visualizes the data via a tabular view of dynamic queries, allowing the user to progressively filter, pivot, and slice the information space with multifocus interaction and different layout and aggregation methods.